we are, guys. This is it, finally. Think 2022. Finally, go Let's on. come around. How are you feeling? Oh, mate, pumped. Yeah? Pumped. You look pumped. What about you? How I are you feeling? Just arriving in and there's cars and all the people over I'm so keen. Yeah. Oh, you excited so to see cool. what we can do this year? Yeah. And what about you? Are we going to make it all worth it this oh, year? I'm excited. Nervous as always, but excited. Okay, so we are here at Scrutineering. This is where it all starts. This is where the whole weekend starts. Tomorrow we've got prologue, so qualifying tomorrow. Then we get into race day one. Now look for this year, the program's changed. We've got the big Mack truck with us. The trophy truck's had a full rebuild. Yep. The 688 car has had a full rebuild. Yep. We've done about 3,000 kilometers of pre-running. We have put the <laughs> effort in. We've put the time in. Definitely. Please, thank God. Let's go. Let it happen for us this year. Did Please let it happen. <laughs> all right, team's all pumped. Let's get into scrutineering. We'll get the cars through. We'll get them checked off. Yep. Get into the party. Then we'll get into some racing. Let's, Let's go. Silently in the background. We've got the sun, we've got the sun, let's go this way. Um, I can't sustain it much longer. I just want to get Kid in there. Kid in a candy store. <laughs> Scrutineering. Yes. This is the fun this night. This is it, yeah. This is where the boys go, get to show off their cars, sign some posters, make some kids happy, just before all the pressure builds up of Prologue. This part, How are you feeling, Steve? Just started. Confident. Confident? Yes. Are they going to nail it? Let's get through prologue. Yeah. And do day by day. So what do you want them to do in prologue? Do you want them to hit it and hit it with some speed? Or do you want them to take we, it slowly? We did steady? one last change before the prologue to give him a little bit extra speed. What so, did you do? I can't tell you that. What's that movie? Days of Thunder? Days we of put Thunder. special tires on. <laughs> special tires. Special tires? Sticky tires. We put Yoo! sticky tires on. <laughs> Scrutineering, this is all for me. That for me, I think this is up there with, besides crossing the finish line, this is the best part of it. Oh, yeah, it's just fun. It's sick. It is, just, it is surreal. The fans, yeah. how are the fans signing posters? The little kids running up, they know your name, they watch the show, they're here to support you. Um, the families, I just think this is where it all comes together. And this is where, for me, I really realise exactly what we're doing out there. Do you guys feel that or not? Yeah, 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 always. Oh, the vibe is awesome. Just everyone is so keen. I just get out there and race. And everyone is keen to watch. It is amazing, you know, just the atmosphere here. So, yeah, yeah. They're feeling good. You boys start feeling the pressure yet or not? No, no, no. no just cool as I just ready to jump in. Jump in. No, jump in. Nothing, get nothing to lose, eh? Hey. Just, just nothing to lose. But scrutineering, if you get out here, um, come out, support scrutineering, see all the trucks up close and personal, meet all the drivers, meet all the teams, the people behind the scenes. This is what Fink is all about. Yeah, you want to sign this too? Yeah. Right, so we're here with the man that has made Fink happen for you. Do you know him? This year. And you have? Ah, uh, well, you made a mess of this engine. Yeah, absolutely. No, hey, don't look at me. They that was made a mess of it. Was you, was yeah. it? Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> obviously, lost oil pressure in it. Uh, new crank, rods, pistons. Had to repair the head, sealing yeah. the head in it. Yeah. So we didn't go over the top with it, just made it a reliable race engine. Yeah. So. 
By turning it around, you turned it around in what, 10 days? In 10 days. Getting Obviously the hardest the part was here, yeah, getting the bits out of the state. So yeah. uh, that was the challenge. But um, once we got it, I think it was two days it was back together. So. Yeah. So anyway, like I said, high torque performance. They put it together for the boys. Like getting that turned around, the parts in, and I did nothing. I literally, once we knew the motor was blown, we pulled it out of the engine. We pulled it apart. Right, this is done. Oh, my God, what do we do? Kent, Polaris, can you build one? Yep. Oh. No dramas, dude. <laughs> Send me the engine number and the rest has happened. Yeah? So, what do you two need to say to him and the team? Hey, cheers, Ken. No worries at all. <laughs> cheers, Ken. Race day. Race day. Go Brother, send it. Good to have you out here. Let's go, race. Right? Thank you. Morning, welcome to Prologue. This is really, this is day one, mate. This is where it all starts. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Excited. Yeah, excited. Well, I think for this year, um, the game plan is probably a little bit different. I think this year we just got to give it, give it all we got. Um, obviously, we want to get the car back here, but look, after the attempt at Frank last year, being stuck in that dust, you know, that, that thought's going through my mind, and we don't want to be there again. No, it's a big lesson learner for us. Yeah, we've got done, especially for you. Yeah, um, I can't wait. Can't wait. I like the attitude. Just give it. Yep. Give it hell. We're not here to make up numbers. Yep. So today it's kind of like yeah, we just we just got to we got to get around there. We got to get around there quick. So it's going to be completely different to last year. Um, the boys are about to go out in the 688 car. Everything's feeling good. We've gone out. We've done our sight lap. Um, and now it's it's all up to all up to me and and up to the track and we'll see how we go. Plan two day is give it large, so we are just going to jump into prologue, give it large, send it in hard, and we should be good. We're just, we're just hunting. Or the fastest time that we can and just yeah, send it. I would absolutely just like us to know that we gave our all. We don't really have anything to lose and yeah, this is this is how you win the races in prologue, so just give it all, go out and have some fun. Don't be a 
boys are off for prologue. Um, the Trace helicopter's over the top. Goosebumps are like running up and down my uh, blood for like five minutes. We'll see the boys get back in and hopefully they can put it down good, eh? Dash on the every light on the dash came up. We only revved to six and a half grand, 95 k's max. The whole, the whole lap. Crap. What? Didn't have any power. We got, we got out the um, out the um, back in those back um bumps. Mm. 95 k's max. Six like and a half thousand. It nothing. Wouldn't rev anymore. The dash lit up like a Christmas. Tray. And we were flying too, yeah, like flying. It, it felt good. It felt good. <laughs> so, so down the back we got up to about 105, but then after that it was like nothing, like nothing. Didn't have any power. I was, Did the motor sound like it was labouring? Yeah. Well, so it's it, being pulled down. Yeah, it sounded like it was um dying. Spike up to one <coughs> ten, and then that was max, and then it would build up until about one twenty, and then we we're like, oh yeah, all right, well, well something's happening, and then just as the lap kept on going, it got worse and worse and worse. I'm sorry, boys. Now. Yeah. You got no 
once on the dash or did you have more once on the dash? So you can see clearly they've um, on the back straight there on the whoops. Um, something's happened to the engine. The boys are on it now. They think they've found the problem. Um, they're thinking it's an airlock in the intercooler system because it runs a watered air cooler. Um, but that's that's hard to watch. The car's in limp mode. There's no boost. You can see it kind of just on the back straight. They should be doing about 130. They're like 100 k, 98, and then the car just drops all the way down to about 60 k now, and they brought it in like yeah, that's that's sad to watch. But the upside is better today than tomorrow, really. Yo, times have come in. Yep. Sitting in 26th position out of 60 cars in limp mode. Boys, nothing wrong with that, yeah? In a Polaris, though. You're 30k an hour slower to even begin with, let alone limp mode. Yeah? Well done. Thanks, mate. Well, I think that's good. I think that's probably a really good result for what just happened. Um, their car 26 and their class off the line at about 60 odd. So they're in the first half of the field. Again, not where they wanted to be. Yeah? Um, but they're going to go out and do some testing on the car now. They think they've fixed it. Um, airlock and the intercooler, it looks like at this point in time. Um, but the boys are going to go do some testing now. Yeah. Um, will I go out and do my lap?
good. Did you look clean? Did you look clean? Yeah. He wasn't butt through. No. Nah. Good feelings. We've got to get our asses down there and see how that went. Just got to think. You. How do you think that went? It was good. Yeah? Good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like yeah. a clean run. Yeah? yeah? No. It's pretty cool watching the chopper, oh, hey? Was it was through the whole time. Yeah, it's like... Sick. Literally cutting the trees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool to watch. You didn't get to see yourself, obviously. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go see how he went. have a long way to go, so don't get too far. you know, had a bit of trouble, but they're gonna go out this afternoon and they're gonna work on that. They think they found the issue. So I think they'll be sitting pretty sweet. Um, Justin, I think he looked really good. He looked good when he was out there, but he came back in and said he wasn't feeling good and he's not sitting in a great place. So he did a worse run than last year. So that's got to bring the confidence back a little bit. Um, we just got to, you know, at least it's not the race. Um, prologue is not sitting great, but fingers crossed for the actual race, it kicks it. Right, so that's um, that's prologue done. Um, as usual, I kicked it, like big time. A couple of things were going against us, I think. We thought we made the right decision. We were doing some testing during the week. And we had another gear set, and we heard that they've flattened out the prologue track, so we went up to another gear set to give us some more top end, and I just got in the car and it just, didn't feel like my car or the car that I've been testing. Not that it's an excuse. I think once again, my nerves got the better of me. I think second corner or third corner, I blew the corner, hit a pile of mud, couldn't see a damn thing. Went off the edge of the berm, and then it just went pear shaped from there. It went completely pear shaped. I don't look. I don't know what it is. You know, we come out here and we ran testing on this track like three, four weeks ago, and we were putting down some awesome lap times, some lap times that were worthy of like the top ten. And then I get out here on prologue, and it just I don't know, I don't know what happens, I, I, I just I can't explain it, you know, it doesn't happen to me during the race, you know, I can go and race think and I'm comfortable and I'm calm and I'm confident, but there's just something about prologue, the pressure that, that gets on me, it just gets the better of me and today it's, it's done it again, it got the better of me today, so, you know, the pressure's going to be on for race day, but look, I'm excited, gutted, um, I'm really disappointed, but we're here, we're at Fink, um, the family's all together and I think you just got to look for the upside and I would have put this behind me now and, um, just concentrate on the race. 